everyone, it's Jet back today with another achievement video and today we are on the hunt for the achievement called All Sides of the Story. Uh, the objective of this is to hear all the stories told by the following de denizens of the Waking Shores. Now, two of these, the Verigistrage and Captain Garrock and Suja Grimax, those can be done pretty simple in one day. The Duraz and Kolgar stories, that's going to take you a minimum of three weeks. And the Tarjan, the Blind, that's the, that's the big one. That's going to take you a minimum of six weeks to complete. Now, you may have done the Tarjan and Garrock and Suja Grimax one because that one is right here in the intro quest in the Wingrest Embassy. So we'll start with that one. Uh, what you want to do is you want to come to the Wingrest Embassy here when you come off the boat or wherever you do. Um, you want to talk to Captain Garrick here, and she will give you a quest called Give Peace a Chance, and the objective is to introduce yourself to the Horde representative. So you want to accept that, and you want to go to the Horde representative, which is located up here. And when you turn this in, you'll get another quest called Encroaching Elementals. Now the objective of this is to kill 15 Primal Elementals in Wingrest Embassy. So we'll accept this, and these elementals are located right out the embassy here. So you want to kill 15 of those, so we'll kill 15 of those and we'll be right back. So we managed to kill our 15 elementals and we'll turn this right back into Grimax here. And when we turn this in, the first part of the story will be complete of this achievement. Now like I said, most, you, most people probably already have Captain Garak and Suja Grimax already completed since it was part of the intro quest. So we'll knock out the next, uh, the other three, and I'll show you how to do those. This next part of the achievement that we're after for all sides of the story is the story of Duraz and Kolgar. Now this will take you three weeks minimum. The first week you'll get two quests, the second week you'll get two quests, and then the third week you'll get one, one quest in which you complete it, complete the story. Now Duraz and Kolgar, they are located, you can pick this quest up here in the Ruby Life, Sh Life Shrine. Uh, you wanna go to the bottom section right here of the Ruby Life Shrine underneath the flight path and you'll notice an inn here. Now you wanna come in the inn and when you come in the inn, here in the back left hand corner, you'll notice Kolgar will have a quest and it's called Untold Regrets when you talk to him. So we'll talk to him and you get the quest Untold Regrets. Regrets. And uh, the quest objective here is to walk with Duraz and Kolgar to find help. So um, you actually have to, you can actually go to the point, but you still have to wait for them to get there. So we're not going to walk this whole escort quest. So whenever he gets to the location, uh, we'll be right back. So our buddies here are making their way down the stairs from the inn entrance. And they're going to come over here to this dragon named Bathros. And when they come up here, Bathros will offer us a quest, as you can see. I have lived so we'll turn this quest in, and he'll give us one called Pain Management. Now, the objective of this is to gather five milky snap flowers, three blooming shallow willies, and fill the life pool's vial. Now, we'll accept this. Now, Man, all these items you need are protected. located directly right behind you on the map. So, in the same area, which is really nice. So, uh, the... Snap flowers look like this. The shallow lilies are in the water. So they're just chilling in the water here. And to fill the vial, all you gotta do is be in the water and click this, click the action bar here and that will fill that. So we'll collect these and then we'll be right back. So we managed to get all the items we need for the quest and it says to bring it back to our dragon here, so we'll talk to them. Gave up hope. And then you have to turn it in. Duraz and Kolgar are right here at the bottom of the stairs. Now, this is very important because week two, the quests you want to pick up are located right here. So we'll turn this in. And then we'll come back next week for the part two of this uh, achievement. So we are back with week two of our Duraz and Kolgar story. 
for the achievement here of all sides of the story. And where, where you want to come to pick up the two quests for week two are right where you ended the quest for week one, which is down here in the Lu Ruby Life Shrine area, uh, right down here in this area. So Kolgar will be here. He'll give you a quest. It's called The Bitter End. And what you want to do is you want to bring ba Bathros to Doraz and Kolgar. So we'll accept this. We'll go up here. She is the... Um, uh, dragon up here that we talked to in the in we week one, so more. we'll accept that So she'll come down here and she'll go to our boys <laughs> And Toraz is just knocked out so the we will turn this in the bitter end and she'll give us another one it's called life after life another quest and the objective here is to collect an inert vessel from uh trillion in the ruby life shrine so we'll upset that and they are located right up here so we'll fly up here and uh pick up this item for them And then we talked to Trellian here, and it's like, Bathos asked me to get a vessel for you You'll from you, and she does, so we'll head back the down there to our boys that are just chilling. Poor Doraz is knocked out. And when we turn this in, that's it. That's what you do for week two. So next week uh, will be week three, and then we'll complete this part of the achievement. So we'll come back next week. All right, so we finally made it to week three of the Duraz and Kolgar story. And this will be the last week, and then we'll get this part of the achievement knocked out. Where you want to come to get this is right underneath the ruby life shrine here. And you want to pick it up in the same spot where you started this story quest, which is inside this inn here. So, so you want to come in this inn and you'll notice the quest guy here, Kolgar, will be back here sitting on the table. So you want to talk to him and he'll give you a quest here and he's like, have a drink with me. So you want to accept that. So you go to the bartender over here. What service? Kolgar wants to buy another round of drinks. So you do that. You can pick any of these options. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, we'll just get an Adventure ale. Safely. And then what you want to do is go back to Kolgar here. And you'll notice there's a stein on the table that's highlighted. So you just want to click that. And he'll give you another another quest here to do some things okay so you want to pick up Kolgar's pack which is back here on this table and you want to give this to Kolgar Go forth to victory. and you want to pick up his axe which is right here against the bookshelf. And we want to give that to Kolgar. And then he was going to want to drink. And you get another action uh, button here. And what you do is you just drink with him. And now you turn this in and this will give you the achievement leg. So there it is, Duraz and Kolgar. So that's how you do the Doraz and Kolgar, all side of the story, part of the achievement. All right, the next part of this achievement that we're after uh, for all sides of the story is the story of Veragistraz. Now, we'll just say that name one time and we'll just start calling him the dwarf guy because I ain't trying to butcher that name throughout this video. So Veragistraz is located in the Ruby Life Shrine and you might recognize him because you probably already did a quest with him before. He's located right here off the flight path. Now, if you come up to him, you'll notice he, he has another action bar you can click. Now, you want to click this action bar. Now, when you click him, 
uh, when you first came here, he had a quest. And to complete the quest, you could have just hit, you are busy, get up and leave, and you would have completed the quest. Now, in order to do this achievement, you actually have to sit and listen to his whole story. So when you click him, uh, you want to continue with his story, which meaning that if you did just skip his thing before, you can come back to him and leave, proceed to where you left off uh, before. So you're not out of luck. So I left off at this point. What do you mean? So we'll hit this and then he'll start talking about, I don't want to spoil exactly what he talks about, but he talks about some interesting things and it's pretty interesting. But every once in a while he'll have a break. So you have to click him again and then proceed on with the story. Now, whenever you do that, um, he'll give you a follow-up quest called Memories. So you got to listen to his whole story and keep proceeding on with it. As you notice here, he's done, and then it's uh, we have to proceed here with, that sounds awful. Um, and then after you're done talking with him, he'll give you a follow-up quest called Memory. So we'll listen to his story here, um, and then when he's done, uh, I'll come back when we get the follow-up quest. So we listen to the dwarf story, and he, as you notice, he gives us a follow-up quest here. It's called Memory, so you want to pick that up, and... You basically want to retrieve his time capsule, so we'll accept this. And now his time capsule is right here in the Ruby Life Shrines also. It's down downstairs here, so we'll fly down there. Pick that up. It's down here on this pillar here. So we'll click this. And then the time capsule will appear once you click it and we got it. So now we got the time capsule. We want to bring it back to, to our boy up there. Now, when you turn this in, this is the tricky part because he won't give you a follow-up quest. You turn it in, you get some gold and then you don't get a follow-up quest. So what you want to do in order to complete the rest of this story, because it's not it's not knocked off of our list yet, is you want to go to the Obsidian Citadel and you want to head to the Obsidian Throne and you want to get another item there. So we'll go down there and I'll show you where to locate that item. So when you make it to the Obsidian Citadel, what you want to do is you want to go inside the Obsidian Throne, which is located right next to where you turn in the key for Raytheon. And down here where the big spider bosses there's an elite spider boss down here so you want to come down here and when you come down here you want to hang a left and you could do this if you're a druid uh, you could do this all in stealth mode and even pick up the item in stealth mode so you won't pull any aggro which is really nice so you want to hang a left here and when you come underneath this thing you'll notice another room here on the left hand side and you want to go in there. Now, when you enter this room on the right-hand side, you'll notice a book sticking out of the bookshelf here. It's called the Odd Book. And you want to click this. And this will give you a partially um, digested, um, a partially digested diary. But it also gives you a quest called Memories Revived. And you want to bring this back to the dwarf, our dwarf buddy. So we'll pick this up. And you'll notice we'll get a partially destroyed diary in here. So we'll head back to the Ruby Life Shrine and turn this into our, our buddy. So we made it back to the Life Shrine. So we'll go talk to our buddy here and turn in this quest. And when you turn in this quest, then you will get that part of the achievement knocked out. So Veridistraz is good to go. That's their side of the story. So on to the next. The next part of this achievement story that we're going after is called Tarjan the Blind. Now Tarjan is located right outside the Obsidian Citadel uh, up in the mountains right here in this location. I do want to say that uh, before you come here weekly to do this, because this is going to take you six weeks, you got to come each week for six weeks to complete this achievement. But sometimes there's a weekly down here at the Dragon Scale Base Camp, which uh, tells you to go see him and get some dragon skulls because each week his quests are the exact same it's to 
pick up five impressive dragon skulls. So when you come to this area, Tarjan will have a, a quest each week. And as you notice, he has two things here, uh, which are default, where if you want to talk to him, but he'll have a tail, uh, a quest called Tarjan's Tail. Now you want to pick this up. Now, whenever you complete this, uh, he'll, you have to wait next week to get another one of his stories. So you got to do this for six weeks. The quests are all the same. It's to collect five in impressive dragon skulls from powerful dragons and proto dragons in the Dragon Isle. So we'll accept this. Now these dragons that you have to collect these skulls from, they have to be basically rares. So they're, they got some pretty significant health. So if, if you're pretty uh, not geared, this might be kind of troublesome. So where I usually go for this quest each week is I'd go right here north of the Obsidian Bulwark because it's really easy because there's a lot of powerful dragons up here so we'll head there and I'll show you exactly what to look for we made it up to the location I like to go which is north of the obsidian bulwark because there's a bunch of dragons here uh, chilling on rocks and flying around so you can knock out five pretty easy like you can go anywhere in the dragon isles though and so if you want to do this passively you don't have to come right up to this spot this is just where I found is the most efficient for me so whenever you kill this the good thing about this is all these dragon skulls are 100 percent drop rate so um whenever you kill one you'll get one which is really nice so all you got to do is kill five of these big dragons and like i said this one has 903,000 health so i mean it's, it's not a, a cakewalk if, if you're not if you're not um geared So we'll kill him and loot it and we got one uh, dragon skull so you got to do this four times so we'll do this and then we'll go back to Tarjan so we collected our five dragon heads and we came back to Tarjan here so we'll turn this in and then when we turn this in we got to wait till next week to get to get the uh, the next uh, tale that he gives now you can see your progress here each week the first one is Tail the Outsider. That's the very first quest he offers. And then the last one where you know you're going to be done with it is called uh, Tail the Weakling. So each time you do one of the tails, uh, you can see your progress because it will come uh, in this little box here. So, so we'll wait till next week. I'm not going to do this uh, every week. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to come back on the last one since each of these quests are the exact same each week for six weeks so uh, in six weeks we'll come back and uh, I'll show you how to complete it so we finally made it to week six of the Tarjan the blind story here for the achievement all sides of the story and this should be our last week so how you know it's gonna be the last week is tail the magma pack is the fifth one and then after you accept this quest here um this will give us the achievement because this one should be tail of the weakling so we'll accept this we'll go get our five dragon heads and we'll be right back turn this in and get our achievement all right so we managed to get all our dragon heads that we need so we'll turn this in here and when we turn this in we should get the achievement So that's how you get the achievement, all sides of the story. Uh, when you turn in that last quest, uh, when Tail the Weakling comes up, you actually got to click it and listen to him. And then after he's done telling his story, I don't want to spoil it on what he's talking about. And then you will get the achievement and it will pop and you'll get credit for it. I actually had it paused and then I was going to unpause it uh, when the story was done, but it actually ended pretty quick then I could get the video on pause so but that's how you get the achievement all sides of the story overall this uh, achievements not hard the hardest part is Duraz and Kolgar is three weeks and then this Tarjan the blind story is six so hope this video helped and good luck with your achievement hunting